Okay, there it is. Spricker.com. You guys are on the air. Pass it up here. And let's go ahead and get that. Uh, <laughs> hang on here, friends. Uh, what is up over here? I'm getting a countdown clock. Um, and we're on. We are on the air. So I'm watching the monitors here. And I've got a clock ticking somewhere in here, uh, <laughs> which don't make any sense. What's going on? Uh, you know, as usual, we get bombarded with problems here. Uh, so bear with me on this one, friends. Um, looks like it is connected. Well, we'll have to just keep rolling here and, and, and kind of just see what happens. What is going on? Why do I have a countdown clock? Uh, <laughs> oh, mercy. What is up? Uh, well, that's real odd here, friends. Hang on here, friends, just a minute. Uh, I don't know what's going on. We got counted down on our blog talk radio channel and i don't know what it is i think maybe it's because it refreshes it and you have to kind of gotta uh, kind of go back over it i guess kind of refresh it and restart it so it'll count down like it's not live but uh i know it is <laughs> so oh mercy what is going on with our channel tonight uh, amen. Because I know we're not uh, we're not disconnected there, so I don't know, friends. Give me a minute. Let me find out uh, what is up with our channel and uh, see <laughs> see what happened here. Uh, for some reason, uh, it doesn't. Uh, it's it's like it's not there. Just like it got shut off. So again, I can't even pray it in without problems here. Uh, so. What is up? Because I did set that. It's the Blog Talk Radio again, friends. It's it's Blog Talk. It, right off the bat, right out of the gate. I just set this up, got through uh, the connection here, got it all lined up. Uh, man, oh man. Well, welcome to the stream. <laughs> I don't know. I just fixed this. We were on 1030 uh, live. And it, um, for some reason, it disconnected again. So we're going to have to go back and figure out what's going on with that. Um, <laughs> man, come on, really? Uh, it looks like I lost the, uh, it looks like I lost the channel. Uh, it is not up. I can't. I can't get to it, and uh, it doesn't look like it, it's supposed to be 1030. It is the 4th. It must be Monday, friends. Anyway, so much for that. Uh, so much for uh, going live on Blog Talk Radio again. Uh, I had that set. I hit the start button, and uh, it... Ah, oh, mercy. Terrible, friends. Terrible. I don't like it uh, at all. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Uh, miserable. Um, okay, so we have a problem in uh, Studio A here. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to have to pray it in real quick, friends, and then I'm going to have to go back, reset our Block Talk radio uh, since it didn't take and didn't go through here for some weird reason. Um, I lost the whole channel again. So, <laughs> man, come on, devil. Don't you know who you're dealing with? I don't think he does, friends. All right, so that one's going to get erased. You guys won't uh, have anything on. Uh, <laughs> you won't have anything on Block Talk Radio for this one tonight, friends. I'm taking that one out uh, it didn't even go through and i had set it up recorded or you know started recording when i went live here and uh it took it out crashed friends we have lost 
our Block Talk Radio for tonight. It is. So, um, bear with me. I am going to have to so see if I can't now. get in here and uh, redo it. Uh, my word, that devil, that devil, I'm telling you, friends. Well, anyway, we're still live on the other channels. I don't know what to do here. Um, I've got to reset this uh, and redo this. So uh, let me see if I can't get in here real quick. Um, oh, man, it's going to start late uh, here, friends. Uh, it's going to be um, at 11. Actually, it's going to start here at about 11 o'clock. So... Um, I'm going to have to go back through this, reset everything up. Either that or I just shut down and completely restart everything. And I don't want to do that because we've already been on the air here 10 minutes, uh, friends. So let me go ahead and just pray it in real quick. I'll reset, rejump uh, some basic information here on uh, the on the blog talk radio here, uh, friends. And uh, so let me get started and... Um, Let's see if we can't do something here. Uh, great to be back. <laughs> we get rid of one problem, and I have a continuing crash issue uh, again on Blog Talk Radio. That is actually uh, possibly getting shut down for the month. Uh, some finances didn't come through, so I'm going to have to sacrifice two channels uh, unless I can get some kind of uh, money coming through on our PayPal uh, donation list or icon there up what do you call that thing uh anyway the uh the money didn't come through so i wasn't kind of had to sacrifice uh the spreaker and blog talk which i just have a few more days on so uh you know i'm praying hey i'm i got some faith there I, i'm still praying on it and and hoping it uh, something comes through uh so you know uh <laughs> amen all right, so let me go ahead and just set this quick one up here, um, amen, and I'll go ahead and just kind of redo it later on, um, amen, all right, and just, uh, we'll do that, and then we'll go ahead and just pray it in, uh, friends, so let me get the basics, and then I'll have to re-hit that at 11, uh, friends, so this is probably going to be another two-hour uh, podcast here. Uh, now that we've had this 10-minute uh, glitch in the system. Uh, <laughs> amen. All right. Well, anyway, I got a lot for you, so bear with me, friends. Uh, just hold that thought. Just kind of relax a little bit. Get your cup of coffee, your Bibles together uh, here, friends. We are going to go. Uh, I got to take care of this real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and jump into the podcast. Of course, I'm going to pray it in first. As soon as I get this set up, uh, amen. All right. Well, we'll see how this goes. Amen. All right. So you guys get to watch me type. (laughs) Amen. All right. Give me a minute, my friends. Almost got it. Just putting some basics, and then I'll run back to it here. Uh, amen. All right. Oops. And we'll get some things going here. All right. Type in as quick as I can, friends. So bear with me. Hold on. All right. Uh, there it is. Got to do a couple of quick tags. Um, amen. All right. And, of course, uh, hang on here. I know I put the right date, like I had the right date set up. It is the 4th. We are on Monday uh, here, friends, just about 11 here. So I'm going to start this at 11 o'clock. Uh, so, you know, they'll, I guess Block Talk Radio is going to miss the first uh, 15 minutes of the broadcast. There's not much I can do on that. So, um we're going to have to, <laughs> they're going to just have to deal with it, right? Because, uh, <laughs> man, oh, man, I tell you, that devil's on the full prowl attack here, friends. Uh, it is not good. All right, so there it is. I think I 
have that set. So let's go ahead and move that keyboard down here, friends. Live, <laughs> live on the air, brothers and sisters. Come on in. Let's get going. Heavenly Father, oh, you know, I just uh, give it all to you. I, I, I'm just so grateful again for these opportunities I get to spend in your word through all the all the problems, the issues, the technical issues that keep happening here, uh, you know, and the, the flies and all that stuff. <laughs> Father God, you know, you keep me on track. And uh, as I, you know, as I get attacked here, I, I must be doing something right, Father God, because, you know, we're stepping on the devil's tails. We're stepping on the enemy's tails. And, and he's getting agitated, as he always has been. Because uh, uh, God's people are standing their ground, and we are fighting through this uh, with you, of course, uh, Father God. So, thank you for giving me that strength, that hope, that encouragement, that uh, courage, and boldness to step out in faith, Father God. As I refuse to give up, no matter what, uh, no matter what happens. So, Father God, as the devil's made it personal, you have made it personal, and we have made it personal. Uh, to trust in you, to hold on to you, to cling to that cross, lay the crown at your feet, Father God. So I want to pray for the studio, of course, as I always do, the Wi-Fi, the connections, no more hindrance, no more blocks, nothing, Father God, as I get this word out and preach this message. Uh, and Father God, as always, I want to pray for family, friends, uh, whatever their situation is right now, lift them up and encourage their hearts. Uh, give them that uh, strength, that mindset that, you know, you are our healer, our protector, our guide, our everything. And we need you more than ever. Father God, we need you more than ever. No doubt about it as they see the wickedness of the world right now. Uh, the divisions, the lines that have uh, been drawn. But we choose you, Father God, above everything else. We choose you, and I ask this in Jesus' name right now, amen. All right, friends, there you go. Let's see. Let's see if we can get going here. Ah, that pesky little rat devil, as I call him. All right, uh, boy, did I feel a, a, a bit of the Holy Spirit rush on that one. Ah, my word, my friends, you know, the devil is a pain, <laughs> and he's just, just out of, he's got to be out of his mind, friends. I mean, he already is out of his mind, but he's got to be more out of his mind, because we're not budging, right? We're, we are sticking to God's plans, friends. Amen. All right, well, I, <laughs> I think... Mercy, I think we got everything somewhat uh, sort of figured out here. Uh, again, good to see you guys. I am glad you guys are here. Back again, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick here. Studio A. Right? There it is. There it is. All right. Uh, <laughs> amen. All right. Now, let me go ahead and grab, uh, grab that channel here. Let me go ahead and. Uh, go to channel three uh, real quick here, friends. And uh, boy, do I appreciate you guys. Uh, hey, what is going on? All right. I uh, have to get back to the monitor here. Amen. All right. You don't know whether to laugh or cry, friends, sometimes, you know, when you get in them situations where you just, you know, you just don't know. I just, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, friends, I am glad to see you. All right, let's go ahead and pull up that side of the monitor. Um, amen. Good to be on the restream. Like I said, on the... Uh, the broadcast here, friends, earlier, I did a quick update, uh, about a 10-minute update on our, uh, on our Twitch TV channel, Ministry Podcast Live there at Twitch TV. Uh, I did an update there, just a, like I said, just a real quick one. Um, and um, 
I was like, you know what? I'm going to get back on here one way or the other. It flies. Uh, you know, still didn't get to fly strips. But anyway, I've been trying to get the updates in. I don't get much time to talk really too much as I like to because of the, uh, the you know, the flies, the problems and stuff. So I figured, well, we're down to one. Let's get going, right? Uh, I miss you guys. Been going through a little bit of situations here. Uh, and um, trying to uh, trying to get through it. So I am getting through it. I, I'm not trying. I am. So and I'm going to claim that, uh, friends. I'm going to claim that. We are getting through this, and we will do this. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, mercy. All right. Let's see if I can bring this other channel up here. Channel 3. Uh, we're going to go live again, friends, on our Blog Talk radio channel in just a few minutes here. So bear with me. It is counting down. I had to do this at 11, uh, friends. So bear with me on this. Um, amen. Get our YouTube channel over here. Okay. Are we set? Oh, yeah, I know why. Oh, man. Okay, now I know why. Uh, friends, I know why I forgot to set the time frame. Uh, friends, that's what it was. I did not uh, set the time. Oh, man, I might have to do this again. Um, there's a little time clock on there that um, that you have to set on the hour and the time, and I might have messed that up. Um, and I hope not, because uh, that would not be good at all. It would not be a good thing. So, bear with me again, friends. Uh, let me see if I can go back in live uh, on the air here. Let me see if I can't. Okay, 120, right? I got to make sure that time frame is good. Man, oh man, that's what did it, friends. I thought I had clicked that over because uh, on the Block Talk Radio, you have to shift that over. Um, amen. So it is counting, kind of getting there, I guess. Okay. Well, let's retry this again. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I can do this again, friends. Bear with me. All right. Through the technical problems, right? Amen. Right? Hang on here, friends. We're going live again on Block Talk. Man. <laughs> All right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mercy. All right, Block Talk Radio. You guys are back with us. You glitched out on the first time. And I think maybe that might have been an issue that I was doing, uh, not putting the right timing on there. And it, uh, like I said, it kind of glitched out. So we're here. Good to see you. All right. Mercy. I, and I kind of jumped back in my last conversation. I forgot what I was going or where I was going with it. But anyway, <laughs> let's go. Right? Let's get the Bible here. Um, okay. I think we're, composed, we're, we're set and ready here, friends, as I got to compose myself. To get into that preaching mood. <laughs> anyway, it has been a while since I've been on live here. Uh, just to get you guys caught up. I've had some fly issues in the studio. A uh, little bit of technical issues with the equipment again. A uh, couple of channels uh, are going to get... Uh, well, we'll try and... You know, we want to be positive and, and think ahead. Uh, but uh, our Spreaker and Blog Talk Radio are going to be down to the 15-minute time limit uh, in probably by the weekend. Now, I'm hoping for some finances to come through. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it, but anyway, we'll just keep moving on. I was able to cover uh, our Restream TV channel, and we still have Twitch. we got YouTube. Um, we got Anchor CastBox. So there are a few channels out here that we can still, uh, you know, I can still podcast on. Uh, friends, and um, 
you know, we're going to just move on. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so we'll see the miracles that God shall bring, friends. Uh, amen. <laughs> All right. So I had to pull up uh, channel two here just to make sure that our Spreaker channel was going live. So, uh, you know, I was uh, trying to fix that audio part. All right. There it is. Lots of monitors. Still, everything's, you know, uh, it, it, nothing changes here, friends. It's it's always uh, it's always something, but uh, we got to keep moving, right? So let's get moving, <laughs> my friends. Hey, uh, have you got your coffee today, my friends? Did you bring your cup of coffee with you? Hey, man, I hope so. All right, like I said, we're out 11 p.m. here Pacific Standard Time. Back in the studio, finally live on the video part of the broadcast. Uh, <laughs> have lots of issues here. Uh, tonight, friends, but I am glad to see you. I did miss you. I'm glad to be on air here. Uh, amen. All right. Make sure I uh, didn't have them gnats flying around, floating around here. We still have a few of those. So anyway, we are here. It is Monday night, October 4th. Um, you're live. Restream TV Ministry Podcast Network with Blog Talk Radio. Finally fixed that. Uh, YouTube, Twitch TV. Uh, what did I say? Spreaker, of course. Um, Anchor, Castbox. What do we got? Uh, we're live, friends. <laughs> we're live. Uh, amen. It's going. It looks like it's going through. So, I know, my friends. All right. Let's get to our Bible study. Open your Bibles up, friends, if you will. We're gonna go look at uh, Romans. I do want to go to that. So. Uh, thank you guys for your patience on the first 15 minutes of the podcast. That the how seems to happen. Uh, <laughs> amen. Um, all right. So let me find out what's going on with my mic, my cord. All right. I did make some adjustments on this stuff. So I have to make sure, uh, as you guys know, this is going into the mixer for, uh, what do we got? Channel one here. I, I switched the wires out. So. Uh, <laughs> amen, or it's going to channel two, right? Channel two or three. No, two. There you go. I, I knew I was going to get it, uh, narrow it down, right? <laughs> I only got five monitors here, or what is it? Uh, three monitors and a uh, couple other parts in here. So, uh, <laughs> you know, um, anyway. So, yeah, that's why it's, uh, like, I have to put numbers on here because I can't remember, like, I'm looking at stuff, and I'm like, oh, there you go. So, Channel 1 is our main channel. Channel 2 is where the mixer's going. I, I switched them around here, and I got thrown off. Uh, amen, friends. Well, like I said, a little bit of, you know, kind of background of what's going on. You guys know, I always let you know uh, what's up here, uh, friends, and, uh, you know, I do appreciate you, and I... Uh, I do uh, thank you guys for that. Um, amen, right? So let's get going, shall we? <laughs> amen. Good to see you guys. We're going to go from Romans 3 uh, at about, uh, I think about, um, let's see where that's at. Uh, I think I want to jump um, through it maybe. Nah, we better we better read all the three. I don't want to get too scrambled off that. I'm already scrambled as it is. <laughs> so let's get to it. All right. Romans chapter 3, friends. Now, what advantage then hath the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. All right. Now, for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid, yea, let God be true. But every man is a liar, or a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. 
But if our unrighteousness commend the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous who taketh uh, vengeance? Uh, I speak as a man. All right. God forbid. For then how shall God judge the world? For if the truth of God hath more abounded through uh, my lie unto his glory, why yet am I also judged as a sinner? All right. And not rather as we be slanderously reported. And as some affirm that we say, let us do evil and or that good may come whose damnation is just. What then? Are we better than they? No, in no wise, for we have before proved both Jews and Gentiles uh, that, let's see here, that they are all under sin, right? Amen. Let's go ahead and pull that monitor up a little bit here. Right. Uh, just kind of quickly looking at the monitors here. I want to make sure the lighting was okay. The camera was good. I, it, you know how that gets bumped and moved all the time. Uh, amen. So, yeah, it looks like it's okay. Um, no issues so far. Right? Come on now. All right. So, we're in Romans 3 at about verse 10. Let's go ahead and uh, continue here, friends. Now, as it is written... There is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. And they are all gone out of the way. And they are together uh, become unprofitable. There is none other than uh, that doeth good, no, not one. All right. Now the throat is an open sepulcher. With their tongues, they have used deceit. The poison of asps is under their lips. Whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness? Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. And the way of peace have they not known. Now there is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that what things soever the Lord or the law saith, I say it to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, right? And all the world may become guilty before God. And therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested between witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all, and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that is your key, right? Now, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath set forth to be uh, a propitiation, as my notes again, a propitiation, friends, right there. Okay, Uh, through faith in his blood to, as I get on over here, uh, to declare the righteousness of or for uh, the remission of sins that are past. Always having problems with that thing. I don't know. Anyway. (laughs) All right, through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in uh, in Jesus. Now, where is boasting then? 
It is excluded by what law or works? All right. Nay, but by the law of faith. And therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also, seeing it is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. And yea, we establish the law. There you go. All right, let's bounce on over here to our Twitter channel. Making sure now we're... They discontinued Periscope, so Periscope is no more. uh, But it is... uh, Let's see. It is going to Twitter, so... Let me make sure, double check. Um, and then. All right. Well, hope you guys are doing good, uh, friends. Uh, I got a mosquito bite. Can you believe that? I just got, I just got, got a mosquito bite there. Man. All right. Uh, it happens sometimes. It happens. All right. So there's our Twitter. Uh, All right, so just kind of double checking here. I want to make sure that was working. Uh, anyway, yeah, we've had uh, we've had our pulled our screens off, and uh, so now I've gotten mosquitoes again. Uh, and uh, as I said, you can't do nothing live. You you just gotta swat them or get them get them doing something, right? Amen. All right, again, friends. Good to see you guys. Finally back. Up and running. I know. I feel a little scrambled. I, I've been feeling scrambled like the whole week here, uh, and I, you know, I'm praying. I, I'm trusting God. I know He's got a something going on with Him. Uh, well, you know, something uh, that He's getting in alignment with me on these broadcasts, on these podcasts. I know. I feel it, but I've been feeling a bit scram- a bit scrambled, friends, uh, and a bit discouraged. I uh, kind of talked about that on the audio podcast. I, I think it was a, a day or two. Uh, you know, and you guys know how transparent I am here with you. Uh, it's just me reading the Bible, preaching, and, and sharing the Word of God with you. But, uh, you know, kind of feeling a little discouraged and a little, you know, a little attacked. Uh, but as we all are, as I talk to my other uh, pastor friend, it's like, yep. And so... Uh, <laughs> And that's why you put the word of God on it, on that situation. Uh, Francois, thank you guys for your prayers. Um, it, it's, been a, it's been a week. I tell you, friends, it's been a week. Uh, it's a lot going on, a lot, you know, like I said, a lot feeling really attacked. Um, you know, but as my friend said, so uh, that's why you lean into God. You trust him and you keep pressing in uh, no matter what friends uh no matter what you keep pressing in so that's what we're gonna do uh friends that's what we're gonna do here so again thank you guys i know it seems a little scrambled here tonight um uh, as again the attack of the uh you know the channels here uh but uh you know we we keep pressing in friends no matter what we keep pressing in we keep digging in and and, and trusting uh god that he has our uh best interest right he knows i think i i, I know he knows what he's doing friends we don't you know we all know that right uh <laughs> amen so Let's get to some Bible reading, friends, and then we'll go into our uh, podcast uh, scripture notes because, you know, we need our armor, uh, that serenity prayer, you know, I, you know my usual uh, scriptures and stuff that I like to share with you guys. So thank you guys again. It is Monday the 4th, a little after 11 now, <clears throat> live on our um, uh, Restream TV Ministry Podcast Network. We got Twitter bouncing around here. We got Black Talk Radio, YouTube, uh, Spreaker, and more. So thank you guys again 
as I like to call it, a podcast here, friends. Uh, trying to get back on track. Uh, never mind the flies, right? We got some Bible study to do. We got some church service to get to, uh, friends. So thank you. I'm still your host, Pastor Rick here. Studio A. Uh, amen. Uh, in the Word of God, friends. And I do uh, appreciate you guys. Don't forget we are on Twitch TV as well. Now, I've been trying to do some uh, updates there. Uh, don't get much of a chance, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, you know how it is, friends. So, anyway, I got that uh, update done, and so I was like, it's time. I got to get back on track. I've got to get this, you know, back on Restream TV, get that covered and get going, uh, friends. Um, you know, and like I said, you guys know how um, how open here I am, and uh, I'd like to, you know, share everything that's going on and, and keep you guys in the loop. So thank you guys for my rambling. You know, I do get some rambling time in here. I haven't done that in a minute, so... Uh, anyway, I'm glad you guys are here. Appreciate that. So stick to it to the end, my friends. There's a lot of Bible study for you, a lot of scriptures for you. So thank you guys so much. I do appreciate you. So let's get to it, friends, as we are in uh, Romans 4 now. So let's let's kind of jump over to Romans chapter 4 here uh, as I kind of wanted to take a look at a few chapters uh, here in the book of Romans. So let's go ahead and do that. Romans 4. Now, what shall we say then that Abraham, our father, uh, as pertaining to the flesh, hath found? For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before God. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Now to him that worketh is a reward that reckoned of grace, but of not reckoned of, of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him, again, right on point, friends. But to him that worketh not, not believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Now even as David also describeth the blessedness of the man unto them or whom God imputeth righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. And blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. All right, cometh the or this blessedness then upon the circumcision only or upon the uncircumcision also. For we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. How was it then reckoned when he was in circumcision or uh, in uncircumcision? Not in circumcision, but in uncircumcision. And he received the sign of circumcision, uh, a seal of the righteousness of the faith, which had yet, being uncircumcised, that he might be the father of all, right? We know Abraham is the father of all. So, uh, them that believe, though they be not circumcised, that righteousness might be imputed unto them also, and the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, but who also walk in the steps of that faith of our father, Abraham, which he had being yet uncircumcised, for the promise that he should be heir of the world, and, or was, not to Abraham or, uh, or to his seed, through the law, right, but through the righteousness of faith. For if they which are of the law be heirs, faith is made void, and the promise made of none a fact. Because the law worketh wrath. For where no law is, there is no circum uh, transgression. And therefore it is of faith 
that it might be of grace or by grace. Amen. You know, we always talk about the grace here, right? Amen. All right. Now, to the end of the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all, right? Now, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. I before him who to be believed even God, or he believed even God, who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things which uh, he not as though they were. All right. Now, who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, uh, so shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body. And again, some examples of faith, which I definitely need to hear, uh, friends, myself. You know, as, uh, you know, you guys know how transparent I am uh, with you. Uh, so I definitely uh, needed to needed to go into this, uh, friends. Like I said, it's it's been a rough week here. Uh, but you know, we God always pulls us back on track. So you know. It, he does, so amen. All right, uh, let's continue here. Kind of noticing the cross. I don't know, I guess it looks okay. It does kind of look off, but uh, maybe that's just the angle and stuff. But um, see, I'm going to fix this here. Give me a minute. Uh, let's see if I can straighten it out there. All right, there we go. Got it. Uh, it's good enough for now. Let's uh, continue here. <laughs> Amen. I uh, keep catching uh, the microphone or the headset there for the mixer. So, uh, anyway, let's keep going. We got uh, Romans four. Like I said, Romans four, three, four here. Uh, right on point. Some examples of faith here, friends. And and like I said, I needed to hear this. So, let's continue. All right, so uh, 19, and not being weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead when he was about 100 years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Now he staggered not at the promise of God though, uh, through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Amen, right? There's my point. Glory to God. And being fully persuaded that he had promised he was able also to perform and therefore it was imputed to him uh, for righteousness now it was not written for his sake uh, atone right all right that it was imputed to him but for all or us also to whom it shall be imputed if we believe on him uh, friends, that uh, raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. All right? All right. Now, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And like I said, friends, this has been, uh, I mean, this is right on point. This is what I needed again. As I was studying, going back over, I was like, yeah, let's go to the book of Romans uh, for some encouragement. Right now, therefore, again, in verse or chapter 5, I believe here, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God uh, through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we also have access by faith into this grace. And therein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of of God. All right. Not only so, but we glory in tribulations. See, this is chapter 5 here, friends. Romans chapter 5 today. Or tonight, right? Late night. Bible study podcast here. All right. Therein we stand and rejoiced, uh, or rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations. Uh huh. There you go. Also knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, 
uh, because of the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man uh, some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, and Christ died for us. Much more being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if we are when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy uh, in God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, right? Uh, it, by who we have now received the atonement. And wherefore, as by one man's sin, that's Adam, of course, entered into the world in death by sin, and by death passed upon all men, or so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. For until the law, sin was in the world. But sin is not imputed when there is no law. Now, nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression. Now, who is the figure of him that was to come? We're talking about Jesus Christ there. But not as the offense, so also is the free gift for uh, if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift of grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ hath abounded unto many. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift, for the judgment was by one to condemnation. But the free gift, friends, is of many offenses into or unto justification. Now, for if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of his grace or of his gift of righteousness shall reign uh, in, in life by one Jesus Christ. Now, therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto the justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Now, moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. There you go. Uh, good scriptures. Always, you know, Romans is always good to check out, right? Check out, get into, and read. All right. So we've got, let's see, we got that. Um, amen. All right, friends. Give me a minute. Um, <laughs> All right, so we got that, and I'm going to save that, I think, uh, for the next uh, broadcast here. Um, and so I'm going to, I think I'm going to save out, uh, friends. I'm going to go into a couple more scriptures here. Uh, amen. I want to go to Romans uh, for tomorrow's podcast. Hopefully get on here tomorrow afternoon a little earlier than uh now, you know, just, uh, I, I just like, you know, the devil, you got to go. Quit bugging me and get out of my grill. You got no business here. And I'm not giving you, like I always tell you, friends, not giving him any authority. You know, he tries and, and keeps pushing, but, uh, you know, we just got to push back, right, I guess. Uh, amen. <laughs> um, all right, so. 
Anyway, that's I'm gonna switch that out. All right, so um, you know, let's see. And still wrestling with my clipboard, um, friends. Amen. Give me a minute. Let me get some coffee here. All right. Amen, friends. And again, thank you guys for your patience, your understanding here, and your support. Um, you know, God put me on a path, and I got to stick to it. So I don't care what the devil does or says, but uh, friends. So anyway, thank you guys so much. I do appreciate you guys, and uh, of course, being back. Uh, right? Uh, amen. All right, let's get to our podcast notes. Let's get some armor on because I don't want you to get God. I want you to be saved. Because boy, do I, my, man, I've been reading this. <laughs> I've been getting into my scriptures uh, and studying as much as I can. Uh, not, uh, you know, not getting through, I guess what's the word? Not getting too thrown off, sidetracked, a little discouraged, but still on track here. So let's just keep going. Uh, amen. All right. Nats. <laughs> All right, I got to put some armor on. Uh, my friends, let's get to our, our, again, open up our Bibles here, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. King James, of course, I always like to read out of, plus the Torah and, uh, and the NLT, of course. But let's get to this. Let's go ahead and put some armor on, Ephesians uh, 6, 10 through 20. Brothers and sisters, let's go ahead and read that. Amen. Now, finally, my brethren and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Again, in verse 15 there. Uh, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And as we always do, uh, 1 Peter 5, 5, for your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom? He may devour. You know that's what that's what he's been doing. He's been trying to devour us, right? All right. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. Now praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. There you go. All right, so we're winding down our almost uh, at our hour here on Anchor Cast Box. I'm going to let that go. Uh, friends, i got a lot more scriptures for you uh, tonight, a late night Bible study here. I had to get back on, you know, <laughs> as I said before, you can't keep a God man down. Uh, and, uh, you know, you, you get thrown off the horse, you got to keep getting back on it, right? Uh, amen. All right. So, Twitch TV, hold all your comments, your thoughts, uh, our our moderators are standing by and watching the channel. And as always, I have uh, control here on the studio at the station here. And, uh, well, I'll just block you and pray for you, right? Kick you off and block you and keep praying for you. Amen. So it's kind of scrambled right now. Par for the course here, right? <laughs> I had to call this the Scrambled Podcast. I, I think somebody's got that already, but... Uh, you know, like I said, friends, you guys know how transparent I am with you. I, I've just been feeling off all week. I've been feeling really off and scrambled and just kind of thrown off. Uh, and I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. Well, I can, I guess. It's the devil. Because, uh, you know, when you get closer to God, 
Um, you know, you, you kind of, I don't know, I can't speak for everybody, but for me, I, when the closer I get to God and the more, um, in my scriptures and my studies are, I notice the attacks. I I don't know. It's uh, discernment or something, but you know, uh, just the feeling off the scramble, the, um, you know, the, the discouragements. And that's all tools of the devil. That's all tricks of the devil. We know that. We know he is the father of lies. He comes in to kill, steal, and destroy. Uh, So, you know, as I put the word to the situation, I put the Bible to the situation, uh, just kind of staying in my studies and, and, you know, uh, still managed a few podcasts and and updates. You know, I, I was on the Twitch TV a few times. Uh, this week, but uh, didn't get a chance to get on Restream uh, as much as I'd like. Uh, from last week, it was a whole week out, and it was like, you know, uh, you you pull through it, you give God the glory, and you just keep pressing in, you keep fighting through, friends. So uh, anyway, I'm glad to be here with you. Um, <laughs> you know, just grateful for the opportunity. All right, Anchor Cashbox. See you soon. That's it. All right, friends, we're going to let that go. I'm not even going to worry about it. We're going to continue here uh, a little after 11.30 p.m. here. Uh, Studio A, Pastor Rick here live on the air. Restream TV, Ministry Podcast Network, Twitch TV, YouTube, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Spreaker, Block Talk Radio. We got more, friends. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, Amen. For Monday, October 4th, it's got to be a Monday, right? All right. I got to go into one of my other favorite uh, couple of chapters here uh, in Psalms. Uh, Friends, we're going to read 23 and 91. And, um, you know, uh, man, just, uh, just hold on, friends. As I tell myself that, just hold on. Keep pushing through. Let's get to our word. Let's get to our scriptures, church. Let's go ahead and, and, and dig into Psalm 23 and Psalm 91. Now, the Lord is my shepherd, friends. You could say this out loud wherever you're at. You know, give it to God. Give the glory to God, right? Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, and he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And you prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. All right, friends, let's go ahead and read together again here. Let's go ahead and read uh, our Psalms 91, one of my other favorite ones, my go-to emergency box scriptures here, friends. Now, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty, and I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him whom I trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you in his feathers, or with his feathers, and under his wings will you find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler, and you will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you, friends, and you will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked because you have made, friends, the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge. No evil shall allow or be allowed to befall you all right no plague come near your tent for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways uh on let's see (laughs) 
Uh, on their hands, they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. And you will tread on the lion and the adder and the young lion and the serpent, which we know is the devil. You will trample underfoot, because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him, because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, will I, I will satisfy him, there it is, uh, and show him my salvation, or uh, Yahusha, right? Uh, salvation, amen. All right, let's go ahead and grab our serenity prayer, because we're calling for serenity right now, friends, wherever you are at, uh, whatever, you know, like I said, whatever situation you're going through, I pray uh, for you, uh, I'm praying for you, lifting you up in encouragement, um, friends, and, uh, you know, don't let the pesky devil uh, get in your way, right? You got to keep holding on, friends, like I've been telling myself. Self, you got to keep digging in, you got to keep pressing in, because the devil is a liar, and we're not giving him that authority, friends. By his grace, love, and mercy, we are saved, Amen. All right, friends, uh, let's go ahead. We're already at an hour. We, you know, this will probably be, uh, as I'm looking at the clocks here, probably be, probably be at least a couple hours here, uh, friends. So I got to kind of watch the clock because we did a late start on the uh, Block Talk radio. It's reading an hour and a half or an hour and 15 minutes, uh, friends. And uh, let's see what time. We got, oh, yeah, an hour. Like I said, we're already over an hour. So uh, we will, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll just read through the scriptures, friends. Amen. All right. So think, maybe. <laughs> I never know. All right. There it is. Uh, nope. In the way. I can't see. Uh, amen. All right. Let's get to our serenity prayer here, friends. Like I said, you're going to be here for a while. Uh, probably close to, I don't know. Uh, let's just see how it goes, friends. Let's just get some church service tonight. Amen. Now, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time and accepting hardships as a pathway to peace taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. And I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him in the next. You know, we're talking about that new Jerusalem, friends. Amen? All right, let's move on to our Lord's Prayer. Uh, amen, friends. So, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done uh, in earth as it is in heaven. Now give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Church, you know what time it is, right? Come on now. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. And you got to say amen on that one, friends. Amen and amen. All right, there you go. Okay. <laughs> and again, once I, like I said, friends, spoke too soon. Pesky Fly came out of retirement, came out of sleep mode, and is right here somewhere. But I got my spray bottle and I got my flesh water. So, um, amen. I don't know how that's going to work out, but it'll work out. Not for the fly, again. All right, uh, let's go ahead and go to our sinner's prayer uh, of salvation, friends. Let's go ahead and read that. Now, dear God, I know that I am a sinner, and I need a Savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins, cleanse me of my past, and make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, uh, died on the cross. Right, there it is. Uh, and I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. Now, at this very moment, I accept, church, here we go, 
I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. That has saved me for my, uh, for my sins. There it is. And has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, church, we pray right now. Amen and amen. Amen, friends. Amen. All right, again, go ahead and get a hold of me. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Yahoo.com is the official email for the ministry here. I uh, always appreciate the, your prayer requests, uh, friends. So thank you guys again. Uh, brought to you by our friends over at Eastside Pond. You happen to get on the other side of the mountains, friends, by the river. Uh, bring a coat. It's cold. <laughs> It is definitely getting cold at night. But anyway, if you happen to get on that side of the mountains, go ahead and go on in there and say hi to Miss Debbie and her son. Always appreciate our local businesses, and uh, we want to uh, send shout-outs to them. So, amen. All right. Well, what are we doing? Do we? I know what I'm doing here. Uh, amen. Let's get to some Bible scriptures, friends. Definitely want to get into that. Now, I was going to do 10 and 11. I was actually going to put that off for the next broadcast, uh, friends. So, all right. Yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit of a cold here this week. Like I said, the weather's changing. The temperature's dropping, um, you know. And, uh, of course, with the, you know, with the air in the studio and stuff, got the fan going, got the window a little bit open, not too much, but everything else has been uh, sealed up. Uh, we did take the fan, like the uh, screens off. Um, so, and we've had some of the studio windows open with no screens, which is probably not a good idea. Uh, and so we're getting uh, invaded by rogue flies, <laughs> bombarding us with uh, with the fly thing situation going on. So. Anyway, that's, you know, and like I said, there's a lot of things going on this week. It has been a busy week, uh, a little bit busier than I thought. But again, we're kind of, again, going back to uh, kind of scrambling. Uh, weather-wise, we're, we're dealing with some uh, colder temperatures uh, here. And so uh, I'm trying to get as much of the, of, of the outside stuff done as possible, the, you know, bringing in supplies and stuff, uh, of course. And so that's kind of, you know, scrambled me a little bit. Uh, friends, but uh, you know we're we're I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. You know I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on it, uh, friends. Um, you know I know this is what God called me to do, and I know uh, that this is what He He put me on. He assigned give me the assignment, uh, friends. So uh, the devil's got to try a little bit harder. You know, and, and plus, you know, take a number and get behind us because he's got no authority here. Not not in this church. We're we're not going to give him that, uh, friends. <laughs> so let's get to some scriptures. Uh, I think I do want to kind of change out. I think I want to go into ten, uh, friends, because uh, Romans ten and eleven is really powerful. Um, so, like I said, just going to share some scriptures with you. Just going to read a few here with you, uh, friends. Of course, as I always like to do. All right, uh, I gave in. Um, let me go ahead and uh, get this out here. A little bit, not much. I'm not going to do a whole lot here. Um, amen. So what time do we got? Um, 10.30, right? I think 10.30. Um, I never know. <laughs> I never know. Yeah, 10.30. All right, so we'll we'll roll with that. Uh, all right, so, um, like I said, I'm not going to do too much here. Amen. All right. I do want to get uh, get the monitor back here so I can uh, take a look at Twitter. As I've got the other monitors lined up here, I want to make sure uh, that, um, you know, it is okay. And bear with me on this one. Mm -mm. All right. Of course. Um, amen. Amen. All right. 
Mm -mm. There it is. All right, not much here. Uh, you know, uh, not much to do on this one. I'm, not, I'm just going to put basics, and then we'll continue here, friends. So bear with me um, for sure. All right. All right, almost got it, friends. Just bear with me. Just a couple more minutes here. Uh, let me see if I can get this out. Uh, just a quick update. Put the information in on our on our anchor cast box, um, and then uh, we'll move on. All right, there it is. Got it done. All right. I know first one I've done. Uh, well, I did one on the second. So it's just been a couple of days there, but uh, you know, I'm I'm just trying to get you know stay stay as much on track as possible here, friends. So, all right, it is always good to be in the house of the Lord, my friends. So let's get to Romans ten and eleven. I think I want to go there. Let's go ahead and read that, friends. Amen. Now, uh, brethren, let's see. My heart's desire to God for Israel that they uh, may be saved is the desire, right? Uh, so, for I bear record or bear them record that they have a zeal of God, and not according to knowledge. For let's see, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. For Moses describeth the unrighteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth these things shall live by them. Amen. There it is. Got it. So, as we are reading uh, Romans 10, uh, amen. Uh, let's see, go to Twitter. Podcast 3 Live. Twitter.com. Check it out, my friends. All right. Put the information in on our anchor. Yeah, they were talking about the Facebook crash. So, you guys on Facebook, you, you probably got hacked and your information got... Uh, Hacked out. I, I saw this. It flashed over everything today, uh, like a billion or something like that. So, uh, again, end times, prophecy of the end times. It's happening, friends, and we have to stay to our Lord and Savior. Uh, amen. So, but, yeah, I saw that. I got notices. My friend in England just posted it again on the Twitter channel. Uh, Facebook got hacked, 1.5 billion or something like that, accounts. Uh, friends, so be careful. Like I said, end times prophecy, end times that we're dealing with here. Uh, it is no joke. This is what's going on. This is the end times. We got to be prepared. Uh, and again, just kind of, you know, we got to stay in our word. We got to trust God, friends. Uh, so let's get to it. Let's get to some scriptures here. Uh, Romans 10 and 11. So, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believe, or believeth. For Moses describeth the righteousness, friends, which we know, or which is of the law, and the, uh, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of the faith speaketh on this wise, say not in thine heart who shall ascend into heaven. All right, that is to bring Christ down from above, or uh, who shall descend into the deep. That is to bring up Christ again, friends, from the dead. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even as they in thy mouth and in thy heart, that in the word of faith which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart uh, that God has raised him from the dead. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, the, <laughs> I got uh, side thrown off here a little bit. A little bit here. That shall confess with thy heart, uh, the mouth, that Lord Jesus shall believe in thine heart, that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the salvation saith, or the scripture saith of the salvation, right? Uh, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. All right. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. And when or how then shall they call on him of whom they have not believed? And how shall they or how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher and how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things but they have not obeyed or all obeyed the gospel for he say say lord uh, who hath believed our report. So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and the words into the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy. By them that are no people, and by a foolish nation, I will anger you. All right, but Isaiah is very bold and saith, I was found of them uh, that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But uh, to Israel, he saith all day long, I have stretched forth my hands unto a dif- uh, disobedient and a gainsaying people. All right, let's go ahead and roll on to 11. Maybe I'll save that for next, friends. Why don't we do that? We'll use that for our opening tomorrow afternoon because uh, I do want to get to some other scriptures here, friends. Uh, amen. So uh, let me uh, fix that. Uh, amen. All right. So let me go ahead and uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, roll. Ah, we'll do that. Um, amen. Let's see. Do I want that? I do. All uh, right, give me a minute. Let me go ahead and, and update this. Uh, All right. And uh, again, glad to see you guys. Glad to get back on track here. Uh, amen. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and fix that. Um, I think I'll... All right, so I'm going (laughs) to let me work on this for a quick second here, friends, uh, as I have got the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, what is it? My schedule. Man. (laughs) I told you, I blame it on Monday, right? I just blame it on Monday. All right. There it is. Go ahead and get my pen out here. Uh, Do a little operation on our scheduling here friends so um amen all right so tuesday friends tuesday afternoon uh sometime tomorrow i'll be back here again uh and uh you know i'm not sure what time i got it scheduled for 3 30 but uh, we'll see how that goes uh for sure so all right, it's the fifth already, so we're gonna do that. And like I said, I'm not sure um, time-wise. Uh, so, man. All right. So I'll write that out, and then uh, go ahead and uh, fix that later on. As I'm just dashing some notes here, uh, friends. So bear with me on this one again. 
All right. So I don't want time, but uh, we will go, uh, friends, we're going to go ahead and do Romans uh, tomorrow. So I'll save that on uh, the next one, which is, like I said, it's going to be uh, Romans chapter 11. And uh, we're going to look, uh, I think, 1 through 33. Uh, and say, I do want to get that in there. So 36, yeah. So there is 36. So we'll go ahead and do that tomorrow. Amen. 11. So that's what we're going to look at uh, tomorrow afternoon. So. Amen. All right, there it is. Make sure I write the right page down for sure, because you know how that gets. I always get uh, thrown off there. All right. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I had to make sure. Uh, I had to make sure. Uh, you know, set up uh, on the right pages and stuff. I don't want to do too much, but I do want to make sure I include uh, most of the uh, scriptures that we were talking about here, or that we are going to talk about here in church today. So, or tonight, midnight. Holy cow! It is midnight already, friends. Glad to see you. All right, let's get to it. Uh, let's see, where are we at here? I want to go over to the book of Mark, so follow me over there, friends, if you can. Uh, I always appreciate that. Uh, the book of Mark, and we want chapter 4, right? Uh, let's see, 89. That's not right. <laughs> Mark 4. That's not, definitely didn't write the right page down again. Right? Or did I? Uh, yep, okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Not your typical podcast, my friends. Uh, as I'm trying to, you know, I just know what I've been called to do. I, you know, I, I, I know I'm all over the place here sometimes, friends, and I know I'm a little bit scrambled. But, uh, you know, and like I always tell you, I'm always up front and, and uh, transparent with you, uh, friends. Um, I, and I've been getting emails, you know, you're, you're kind of getting, I, I try to keep it on track as best I can, friends. Uh, so, uh, you know, and like I said, I know this is different. I, I've already been, you know, told that. I've been, you know, but this is the way I was taught. This is how I... Uh, this is how uh, I was shown and taught and, and, you know, had that seed planted uh, to do this. And uh, it's all I know, friends. This is what I do, and this is uh, where I'm at. So uh, I hope it helps. <laughs> I hope you guys get something out of it. Uh, you know, I know it's entertaining, uh, my friends in Japan are, you know, they, they, they're watching and they're like, you're, you're pretty entertaining. Uh, you know what you do. And, and I've been told here, and I, I've got friends here on Twitch TV too, that is saying that it's, it's entertaining. And I'm like, well, look, I'm just being obedient to the spirit. Uh, this is what I was told to do, uh, to, uh, just share the word, just talk about the, the, uh, talk about God and, and share the Bible here. Uh, so I appreciate you guys. Like I always tell you, I do appreciate you uh, for sure. All right. Well, uh, you know, like I always tell you, friends, I get my rambling time in there, and then we have a little bit of Bible study and a little bit of coffee to uh, thrown in on it, uh, friends. So uh, why don't we get to some scriptures here again? Uh, go with me, if you will. Mark chapter 4. Let's go ahead and, uh, and dig into the word here, friends. Let's go ahead and take a look at that, um, you know, and uh, let's see what that has to say, friends. Let's go ahead and do Mark chapter 4 here. Now, and, uh, da, 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 da. oh, man. And he began again to teach by the seaside. And there was gathered into him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea. All right. And the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. And he taught them many things by parables. And he said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, and behold, there went out a sower to sow. And when it came to pass, as he sowed, some 
fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, because it had no depth of the earth, or of earth. And when the sun was up, it was scorched, and it became, or it because, and because it had no root, it withered away, and some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it and yielded uh, no, or yielded up fruit, or no fruit, there it is. And other fell on ground, uh, good ground, and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth some uh, 30 and some 60 and uh, some an hundred. There it is. And he said unto them that, uh, or he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, that they were about him with the twelve and asked him about the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries. We talk about the parables here for a second. Now, uh, into the mystery of the kingdom of God, but unto them that are without, all things are done in parables. Now, that seeing they may see, as he says, seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing that they may hear, or they may hear, and not understand, lest at any of time they should be uh, converted. And their sins be forgiven them. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable, and how then ye shall know parables, or all parables? And a sower soweth the word. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. And when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. Right? All right, and these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately received it with gladness, and have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution ariseth for the word, uh, for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. And these are which the sowers uh, are, which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lusts of other things entering in, choketh or choke the word, and it became unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it there it is right we hear the word and we receive it and bring forth fruit some 30 fold some 60 and some an hundred and he said unto them it is is a candle brought to be put under a bushel or under a bed and not uh, to be set on a candlestick? For there is nothing hid which shall not be made or be manifested, and neither was anything kept secret, but that it should come abroad. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And he said unto them, Take heed what ye hear, and uh, with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you, and unto you that hear uh, shall uh, more be given. The increase, right, friends, as we talk about increases here. Now, he that hath to him shall be given, and he that hath not from him shall be taken even that which he hath. And he said, so is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, amen, and should sleep. 
and rise night and day. And the seed shall spring and grow up. He knoweth not how. For the earth bringeth forth uh, fruits of herself. First the blade, then the ear, after the full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he putteth in a sickle, because the harvest is come. And he said, or he said here, uh, whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or with what comparison shall we compare it? Now, it is like a grain of a mustard seed, right? The faith of a grain of a mustard seed, friends. All right. Now, uh, when, uh, let's see, which, when it is sown in the earth, is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But, as we get to, let's see, 32. But when it is sown, it groweth up and becometh greater than all uh, herbs, and shooteth out great branches. So that when the fowls of the earth may lodge under the shadow of it, and when many such parables spake he the word unto them, as they were able to hear it. And without, uh, but without a parable spake he not unto them. And, they, and when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. And the same day, even, or when the even was come, he saith unto him, let us, or them, let us pass over uh, unto the other side. All right. When they had sent away the multitude, they took him as he was in the ship, and were also with him other little ships. When there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship. Uh, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. All right. And they awake him and said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Amen. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Now, we can take that to heart, friends. That is what Jesus is doing for us if we let him, right? He will give us that great calm, that peace, uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, and again, I had to go back to this myself uh, to apply it to myself, to go, you know, hey, uh, you know, even though it's chaotic outside, uh, if we let Jesus uh, in and trust him, he will calm uh, calm our hearts, right, and give us that eternal peace. So, as this uh, you know, this scripture uh, is very very relevant, right? Uh, so let me go back over this again. Uh, amen, friends. So let's go ahead and take a look at this again. So, in verse thirty eight, we see that uh, Jesus is is getting woke up. He's fast asleep. The disciples are coming to him. Uh, as it says here uh, in 38, and he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? All right. And uh, he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, why are ye so uh, <laughs> cheerful? How is it that ye, or let's see, not that. Why are ye so fearful? There it is. Boy, I had to go back over that and reread it. Uh, how is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly. And said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? 
There you go. All right. So Mark chapter 4, friends. Had to go into that. Wanted to share that with you. All right. Go ahead and grab that. Got a few more for you. You know, as I always like to uh, share here with you. Let's see. All right, let's go to our NLT. By the way, these are going out sometime. I don't know when. I'm still kind of behind here in shipping uh, to try to get this stuff out. So be patient. Uh, we're working on them. So uh, amen. All right. Get to that there. And I want to go to our NLT recap series. God saved us for a purpose. And we are going to look at that. Um, Amen. Let's go back over there. All right. And I'll find it eventually here, friends. There it is. Close by. God saved us for a purpose. Amen. All right. And that's not going to work, so let me pull that. Let me go ahead and get this over here. Amen. I'm organized. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, here, friends, God saved us for a purpose. So we're going to look at the scripture, of course. Uh, let me. Yeah, we got time here, friends. Let's go to it. God saved us for a purpose. And, we're, and actually, we're going to look at Ephesians 2.10 plus uh, a little bit more here. So let's get to that. Now, uh, kind of switch gears here just a little bit. Let's get into our recap series. Now, as uh, non-believers, you had nothing to motivate you to live righteously. You may have searched for purpose and meaning uh, in life, but uh, found nothing satisfying. Now, as a believer, however, you are God's masterpiece, friends. Now, which means that His Spirit is is working in your life to make you uh, more like Christ, friends. More like Christ, right? God's masterpiece. Uh, amen. It give you a purpose for living, right? A, a drive, an ambition, right? Uh, and motivation, right? Now, this verse describes part of the purpose God has for your life uh, as his child. To do good works... Uh, by helping others, the amazing and wonderful truth about God's purpose for your life is that He has plans for you, friends. Each and every one of us, God has plans, and we just gotta hold on, brace up, and hold on, friends. Right? Come on now, uh, to do good works long before you even uh, let's see, is right reading that right now? He, long before we even existed, so. As he already scheduled the days and events of your life with opportunities to tangibly share his love with others, uh, Psalm 139, 16 for that, and Jeremiah 29, 11, friends. Now, the next time you see a neighbor in trouble uh, or hear about a friend struggling uh, with a problem or notice a co-worker in distress, or, you know, anybody, as a matter of fact, pray for them in the supermarket, friends, right? Uh, and there's a lot of people out there that need prayer. So keep that in mind. Amen. All right. So, or see a stranger who genuinely needs a helping hand. Take hold of this opportunity, friends. God has placed in your path and let your good deeds shine. Matthew 5.16 for that one. Right? Uh, because you are his child. And the topic was God saved us for a purpose. So let's go to the scripture. I believe that that's in Ephesians. So Galatians, uh, Ephesians, right? Uh, amen. You guys are going to hear all that uh, background Russell, ruffle, Russell, right? The, the rustling of the pages. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Anyhow, uh, so we want Roman or not Romans, uh, Ephesians 2, right? Amen. Right, let's see if I can get to it without uh, getting this all blown over here. Amen. Well, <laughs> all right. 
So we want Ephesians uh, one through twenty, uh, chapter two, one through twenty-three here. All right, let's get to it. You know, I always bring this up. We always talk about this here. All right, and you, uh, let me stretch out here, friends. Amen. Yeah. All right, uh, <laughs> and you have he quickened, right? Uh, who were dead in trespasses and sin, or sins, plural, not singular. I know, you're kind of, this is like an English kind of class you're going on, right? There you go. <laughs> All right, let's get to the scripture, friends. We're in chapter 2 in the book of Ephesians here. Uh, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world. Yes, we did. All right, now according to the prince of the power of the air, the devil, uh, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we have, or we all had our con- uh, conversation in time past in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desire of the flesh of the mind, but were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. For or but God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, uh, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin, or sins, hath quickened us together with Christ by grace. Church, are ye saved? Amen on that, right? We are saved by his grace. All right. And hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might shew the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace, friends, are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. That is a free gift right there. Uh, Unmerited, undeserved, and unearned, it is a free gift of God, friends. Not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God uh, hath before ordained, that we should walk in them. Wherefore remember that we, or that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision, that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens uh, from the commonwealth of Israel and the strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. Right? Come on now. All right. Double checking. I got to double check the clock here, make sure we got at the time here. Amen. Like I said, probably be close to two hours here, uh, friends. Probably probably be pretty close to two hours here on this one. So, amen. Got a lot to read, a lot of, a lot of scriptures to share with you, friends. So, I want to make sure that I uh, got on track here. Amen. So, uh, but now in Christ Jesus, who sometimes were far off, um, are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For we, or for he is our peace. Church, right there. For he is our peace. Amen. Who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Again, as he became that for, um, with the, um, oh, what's the word? I just read it. The, uh, profi- the, Propitiation. There it is. I knew it. Spirit was going to bring that back to me, right? Amen. So he broke down the walls of mid- the uh, middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments, uh, con- <laughs> contained in ordinances for to make in himself of twain uh, one new man. Friends, right there, so making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God and in one body by the Christ, having slain the enmity thereby, or the enmity thereby. 
and having came and preached peace to you which were far off and to them that were nigh for uh, through him we both have uh, access by one spirit unto the Father. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, as we know he is the chief cornerstone of our foundation, right? Uh, amen, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple of the Lord or in the Lord, in whom ye are also builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit, right? Through the Holy Spirit, amen. All right, I feel like I'm going to sneeze and I don't know why. Um, it's just right there. I can. It's right there again. All right, <laughs> man. Oh, mercy! Come on now. All right, I'm gonna go over there, and I want to go find something. All right. All right. Kind of go backwards here, just a little bit, my friends. Amen. Got a few more for you. Not much. Man, as I always like to give you a little something here. You know, come on now. All right. Um, boy, that's going to be good. Friends, we got we to gotta go here. Oh, and I'm going to. Uh, what are Satan's abilities? And we know this. I've shared this with you before. Uh, amen. Second Corinthians. It's going to be over in, way over that way. <laughs> Way over yonder, over that way. And I want to make sure there. All right. So there we go. So uh, what are Satan's abilities here, friends? And, and again, we're kind of recapping our, um, our um, oh, what is it? The, the recap series here in the NLT Bible. So um, let me get to the chapter there. Nope, too far back. And is that second? Yeah, it is. It's Second Corinthians, friends. Go there, if you will, and I'll meet you there. We'll have a picnic. Right? We'll have some coffee and have a picnic at Second Corinthians. I'll let you get there. Uh, amen. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Uh, we're going to look at uh, probably all the way through it, but let's go ahead and read this out. Let's see what it has to say, friends. All right, ever since Satan lost his privileges and was cast to the earth, or this earth. Uh, he has been using his abilities to oppose the work that God has been seeking to accomplish. Ah, uh, mercy, you don't even want to get me started here, friends. Um, all right, so... Mm -mm -mm. And I just had another comparison, but uh, we don't do politics here, friends, just Bible. But you can imagine, think about what's going on in the world, friends. Uh, think about a year or two ago to where we're at now. All right, I'm going to leave that for you. I, we don't talk about, uh, I'm not going to do politics here, but just think about it, friends. <laughs> think about it, the parables and the comparisons, right? Come on now. Uh, anyway, let's get back to it. Let me repeat this again, friends. Let me see if you guys can connect this together here. Uh, what are Satan's abilities? Again, this is in Second Corinthians 4, 3 through 4. Now, uh, ever since Satan lost his privileges and was cast to this earth, he has been using his abilities uh, to oppose the work of, that God has been seeking to accomplish. Now, Paul's second letter to the Corinthians reveals at least three of Satan's abilities. One through three here, friends. So write this down if you're in your notes, and I hope you do. You have your notebook, tablets with you, your Bibles, your pens, papers. Check this out, friends. Number one here, uh, he is 
the God of this world. We know that, right? All right, now this becomes more and more evident as you survey the increasing uh, wickedness around you. While Christ conquered sin and death at the cross, this, uh, let's see, this world is still flawed uh, with evil, or flawed and evil, right? Uh, But Satan will lose his reign in this world when Christ returns to establish church, his uh, kingdom on earth, right? That's what we got to be prepared. It's coming. He is coming, my friends. All right. Two, he blinds the minds of the unbelievers. Now, according to this text, Satan wants to keep those who do not have a relationship. But I'd say a personal relationship. I heard, don't say it's personal. It is a personal relationship. So, as it says, with a relationship with God, from coming to God, the unbelieving mind has a difficult time understanding the messenger or the message, as it says, of the gospel because Satan is darkened or blinded. Uh, that person's mind, yet Christ can break through that barrier, 2 Timothy 2, 24, 26. Amen. Now, three, he is a master counterfeiter. Now, one of Satan's greatest abilities is, friends, and we know this, it's deception and lies, right? Uh, He is good at making lies look like truth. Now, Paul... His description of Satan here um, says, all right, so I describe Satan as someone who disguises himself as an angel of light, 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen. That is, he fools people by making them think the lies he offers are truth. Now, his lies take on various forms, such as cults and false doctrines, Uh, but when we can discern, let's see, that we can discern the difference between truth and error, when we test them against what is found in God's Word. That's why we need our Bibles, church. That's why we need to read that, study it every single day. Put your armor on, uh, friends, every day, you know. Uh, All right. Yep, I knew it's going to be close to two hours. Like I said, friends, we're gonna we're gonna be close to uh, two hours here. Um, okay. So let's look at the scripture here, friends, with it. Second uh, Corinthians four, uh, as I want to read that. I know my fan. I had to keep the fan on just to keep the the wind, or you know, keep the air flowing through the studio. So, amen. All right, friends. Uh, I think we're looking good here. Finally, uh, amen. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull that up here. Go ahead and pull the monitor up. Make sure we're on track with Springer.com. You guys are going to get the audio broadcast as well. At, like I said, at least for a little bit more. Uh, time here, friends. Um, like I said, I'm praying that uh, you know I get the finances here this week uh, so that I can cover Spreaker and Blog Talk Radio. Don't forget that PayPal link is up on the YouTube channel. You guys that have subscribed, that's awesome. Boy, I appreciate that so much. But uh, yeah, don't forget uh, we got the PayPal link. I have it set up. Uh, so you guys can, if you'd like, uh, you know, it's on in your heart or on your heart to uh, sponsor here at the channel. Uh, I do appreciate that. It pays and covers uh, channels. It pays for up, upgrades and, uh, you know, getting uh, equipment, stuff like that. And, of course, sending the Bibles out. So uh, thank you guys in advance. I do appreciate that. I do appreciate your support here. So, uh, yeah, there you go. All right. So, let's go ahead and grab our scripture as we look at 2 Corinthians here, friends, chapter 4. Let's go ahead and read that. Uh, Amen. So, let me get my Bible together here. 
at the pulpit. All right, come on now. All right, therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, uh, we faint not. See, another one of my go-to scriptures here, uh, friends, I had to, you know, really dig in. Um, you know, a- as you guys know, you preach from the pulpit, you're going to get attacked. Uh, you know, the, the devil just doesn't want the word out. And, but we got to stand our ground, friends. We have got to stand our ground, stick to the Bible, stick to God's plans and not our own. Just persevere through it. Uh, and this is, again, one of my go-to scriptures, my personal, on my, my personal study notes uh, or scriptures that I go. Uh, this is one of them. So check this out. Let's read this together, friends. Let's go ahead and look at this. Now, therefore, seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy, we faint not. All right. But we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world, which we know again is Satan, uh, blind, has blinded the minds of them that believe, or them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is in the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and are our, ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness uh, has shined in our hearts to give the light of knowledge to the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this uh, treasure, church, in earthen vessels. And let me fix that. Uh, (laughs) Let me fix that note there. Uh, I tell you, the Bible, my Bibles are, are looking like road maps here that uh, I got to break out and uh, fix here and adjust uh, the the notes. Make sure I got all that together. Uh, amen. All right, so let's check this out as we are in verse seven, Second Corinthians here. But we have this earthen or this treasure uh, in earthen vessels. Uh, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Amen. That mic, oh, that microphone, there it is. Oh, is that fixed? Yep, there it is. How to make sure it was not broken here. Uh, for some reason, that front part always gets thrown off. Uh, amen. All right. Working on it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm just watching monitors, looking like we're okay. Uh, I bumped up to 5G on the network here on the main channels, and uh, it looks like it's doing good. So I moved it over to the Mac. The headset, uh, mic set, is on the Mac Pro here. So we got channel one. I uh, kind of switched things up a little bit here, switched uh, and maneuvered the uh, ta- laptops here. Which is always great. Uh, gives me a little bit more on the right-hand side here. There you go. Little tip. There you go. Let's get to our scripture here, friends. Okay, so we're in verse 4. Let's go ahead and finish that. Now, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God who commanded the light to shine out of the darkness hath uh, shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But, again, let's go back, kind of uh, retrack here. Hang on, your friends. <clears throat> All right. Amen. All right. Let's continue here. Uh, in verse 7, but we have this uh, treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. 
We are troubled. Again, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Uh, always bearing about in the body of the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life of our uh, of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. All right. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. And we have the same spirit of faith according as it is written. I believed and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord, Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. All right. So there you go. Uh, let me let me fix this real quick here. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> I knew. I knew. Okay, so 2 Corinthians 14, let's continue here. All right, for all things are for your sake, and the abundant grace might, through the thanksgiving of many, redound to the glory of God. Amen. For which cause we faint not, and though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed, friends, day by day. How awesome is that, right? All right, for a light affliction, again, all right, on time, for our light affliction, was a, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look, and again, <laughs> give it to God, the Holy Spirit's right on time on this one. While we look not at the things, at the things which are seen, uh, for the things which are seen are temporal, it's passing, it will pass. Uh, but the things which are not seen are eternal. There you go. How awesome is the Holy Spirit, friends? Amen. Right? Good stuff. Uh, bu- 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 what do we got? Let's see. Well, we got a lot. We got a lot to go here, friends. Uh, a few more scriptures and chapters and uh, stuff. <laughs> right? We got some stuff to look at here, friends. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, about 14, 15 minutes here. Amen. All right. So I want to go back. Uh, what is it? 44. I'm going to go back to the main part here. Amen. Amen. Rejoice in his name. Have courage in trials. What a good scripture this is. All right. Many uh, Christians have the mistaken idea. The ones they make a commitment to Jesus Christ, all will be smooth sailing from that day forward. Now, that's certainly not the case, friends. While it is true that walking with Christ will help us avoid many, many of the problems we used to face, all right? Uh, we're still going to experience what the Bible calls trials. Man, what is up with this mic? All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, as I was saying, the problems we used to face, we're still going to experience, again, what the Bible calls trials here. Now, this may come in the form of a crisis, a sudden illness, or the loss of a loved one, or some dr- uh, drastic change in your life. Now, you may go through friends, a difficult time when you don't feel God's presence. Uh, when church may not be as exciting as it was uh, as it once was for you or your prayers seem to go no higher than the ceiling. This may cause you to wonder if you have angered God or if he have le- if he has left you. But God does not allow us to experience trials before 
or because he wants to see us suffer. Rather, he allows these difficulties, and I get it, wilderness test, again, uh, difficulties into our life to help us grow spiritually, to learn to live by faith and not by feelings. Now, check out the following passages, friends. We're going to, uh, I'll throw them out at you, and you guys can write them down for your notes. Uh, now, check out the following passages to see the roles, tri- uh, the role trials play in our lives and notice that God's promise to be with us during these times of trouble. Uh, again, this is one through six, so you guys can write that down. Amen. Now, one, trials sharpen our faith. Now, hardships develop our character and purify our faith as you look at 1 Peter 1, 3 through 7. Trials help us comfort others. That's two. Uh, Experiencing suffering deepens our compassion for others who suffer. That's 2 Corinthians 1, 3, and 7. Now, trials, number three, trials are survivable. Now, we must keep our eternal perspective through the tough times, 2 Corinthians 4, 7, 18. For trials test our foundation. When we ground our lives in Christ, we can weather any storm. Amen. That's going to be in Luke six forty seven through 49, church. Number five. Jesus is with us in life's storms. We are never outside of God's watchful uh, eye and his abiding presence. As you look at Mark 4, 35, 41. Right? Um, b- 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 yep, 41. All right. Six, God gives, a, uh, gives hope to our troubled hearts. Now, we can have peace of mind in the middle of our greatest trials. John uh, 14, 1 through Seven. There you go. Have courage in trial. That's what I pray for uh, each and every one of you, family, friends, you guys watching. Uh, I pray for uh, strength, courage, encouragement, uh, and hope. Amen. All right. That's a good one. I love that one. All right. Where's my clip? Where's my clip? I need my clip. <laughs> All right. Well, I missed you guys. I hope you missed me at least a little bit. You know. <laughs> uh, it's something else here, friends. It is something else. All right. So, uh, and there went my pen. That's a good thing I have extras. All right. Uh, and there goes my bookmarks. Uh, I usually, like I said, I end up picking up a whole pile here uh, at the end of the broadcast. I, I have like a whole pile of bookmarks laid out on the floor because they drop out, uh, which is not good. All right, 77. So we're going to go to 77, friends. The book of uh, Psalms, actually. Uh, and we're going to take a look at that. So, And we're going to go into the Torah, friends. We are going to go into the Torah. Our Torah reading. Amen. All right. Chapter 77 in the book of Psalm. All right. I cried unto Elohim with my voice. I cried. I even unto Elohim with my voice gave ear unto me. In the day of my trouble, I sought Adonai. Mm, my sore ran in the night and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered Elohim and was troubled. Complained, I complained, and my ruhak, or spirit, was overwhelmed. Selah. Now, you hold my eyes walking. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I call to remembrance my song in the sight or in the night. I commune with my own heart and my rohak or spirit again uh, is made diligent there or diligent search. Will Adonai cast off forever 
And will he be favorable no more? All right. His, uh, is his mercy clean, gone forever? Does his promise fail for uh, forevermore? Has El forgotten to be gracious? Uh, as he in anger shut up his tender mercies. Selah. And I said, this is my infirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of El, Elion. I will, re, I will remember the works of Yah. Uh, surely I will remember your works of old. I will meditate also of your work and talk of your doings. Your way, O Elohim, is the sanctuary. Who is so great and El uh, as our Elohim or Elohim? And you are the El that does wonders. You have declared your strength among the people. Uh, and you have your arm redeemed your people. All right. Uh, the sons of uh, Isaac and Joseph. Uh, the waters saw you, O Elohim. The waters saw you. They were afraid. The depths also were troubled, and the clouds poured out water. The skies sent out a sound. Your arrows also weren't abroad. The voice of your thunder was in heaven. The lightnings lighted the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way is the sea, and your path is the great waters, and your footsteps are not known. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. There you go. Uh, Psalm 77. Amen. All right. Good good scriptures. I love that one. All right. And again, I got to pick up my mess here. Uh, Psalm 77, 1 to 20. All right. Okay. I think we got enough time for one more, my brethren and sisters. Amen. As I get back into the swing of the podcast live again, uh, trying to get on there as much as I can, but like I said, got bombarded back here this week, uh, swatting some rogue flies. Uh, <laughs> and I, you know, and I went out to the stores and they were actually sold out. Uh, pretty amazing. Actually, uh, they, there was no no fly strips. Uh, and I may have to go online, uh, friends. So uh, very interesting, very interesting uh, indeed. So um, kind of strange, run out of fly strips. Anyway, I went to a few stores locally, and uh, they did not have them. So you know, I got the fly water and a and a bottle of water, or fly water and a bottle of water. To, to get the uh, battle uh, somewhat under control anyway. Kind of strange, but uh, anyway. Uh, ironic, isn't it? Kind of battling them fly things. I don't know what that... I don't know if that's a sign. You know, God's like trying to say, hey, you, know, you got a job to do. You got to better get on your post. I don't know. Anyway, you know, there you go. <laughs> 21, 22, right? Is that what we're looking at? I think, friends, we want to go ahead and close out this, um, what do we got, two hours? Uh, this exciting, jam-packed, triple-packed podcast back on the air. Pastor Rick hanging out, uh, World Wide Live Ministry Podcast, Studio A on the Monday, now going into Tuesday here um, on the um, Restream TV Ministry Podcast Network. Uh, we got Block Talk Radio, Twitch TV, Twitter, uh, YouTube, of course, Spreaker, hanging out with uh, our friends here. Good to see you guys. I do appreciate your support again. Uh, hanging out with me tonight, uh, this morning here. Uh, trying to get, like I said, trying to get back on track, trying to get back on focus here. Got, boy, oh boy, friends, uh, there's a lot of stuff happening this week. 
uh, and again, uh, just not being able to get on, uh, you know, the fly situation. So anyway, we got that situation taken care of, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see how tomorrow goes. Like I said, day at a time today, actually, uh, scheduled between 3 and 3.30, right back here at Restream TV, along with our friends over at Twitch TV, of course. Uh, okay, well, there's our countdown. We are going to go through... Uh, Revelation 20, or 21, friends, 21 and 22. I'll go ahead and close the broadcast out with that. Always good to see you, friends. You know, as we pull up our table and uh, get that coffee out, we get our Bibles. We're having a uh, a church uh, Bible study here, uh, friends. Always great to see you. I missed you. And uh, I'm going to try to get back on track here. You now, kind of got things a little bit settled, at least for now. You know how that goes. Uh, so let's go ahead and read uh, Church uh, Revelation 21 and 22. And we'll go ahead and close that out tonight, this morning, right? Now, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the earth were passed away and was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Now I heard a great voice um, out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and he shall be his people and God himself. Uh, all right, uh, shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears, friends, all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying, or neither sorrow, uh, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. That's some good stuff, friends, right? All right, let's continue. Uh, Revelation 21 and 22. Uh, And that, or he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I will make all things new, friends. And he said unto me, For are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Uh, and I will give him uh, or give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely, and he that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he uh, will be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and adultery and all liars uh, shall have their part in the lake. Uh, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will shew thee the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and shewed me the great city the holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from God. Having the glory of God and her light was likened to the stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Uh, Amen. All right. And had a wall great and high and had 12 gates. The gates, 12 angels and the names written therein which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Now, we're going to skip through this, friends. We're going to bypass this. Uh, you guys can kind of read that on your own. Uh, and, uh, again, we're going to jump all the way back up to, um, let's see. So, uh, I think go to 23, friends. Verse 23, uh, Revelation 21. All right, the city had no end of the sun or no need of the sun. Neither of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth do bring 
glory or their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut up at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it, and shall uh, uh, shall in no wise enter into anything that defileth, and neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the uh, in the Lamb's book of life, uh, which is of course the uh, second book of life. So there you go. There's that sneeze. Holy cow. All right, uh, let's go ahead and close out with 22 here, friends. Now, and he shewed me a, a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. And in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits. Uh, da, 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 and yielded their fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the heading, or the healing of the nations, not the heading, the healing of nations. All right, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads, and there shall be no night there and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the uh, Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to shew his servants the things which must shortly be done. And behold, I come quickly. Blessed is uh, he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Again, friends, we are closing out with Revelation uh, 22 here. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell to worship the feet uh, before the feet of the angel that shewed me these things. Then saith he unto me, So thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant and of the brethren of the prophets and of them which keep the sayings of this book worship God and he saith unto him or unto me seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book for the time is at hand he that is unjust let him be unjust still and he which is filthy let him be filthy still and he that is righteous let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, uh, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may be or have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates of the city or into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. All right. And the spirit of the bride say, Come and let him that heareth say, Come and let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will let him uh, take the water of the life uh, or of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add Unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in the book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Uh, for 
uh, or he which testifieth these things, saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Uh, even so come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen, friends, and amen. And on that note, brothers and sisters, it is good to be back. Uh, sorry about all the stumbling there. I, you know, as it, as it is, I just do what I can here. And, um, you know, I try to get through it, friends, the best I can. Um, okay, give me a second. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close out. Friends, that is our broadcast for today. Uh, again, grateful to be back. You know, it's it's going to take a lot more to really uh, rattle me, uh, friends, to completely just shut down everything. Uh, I, I know God isn't. Uh, he, he, he's not going to let me do that no matter uh, what I go through personally on a personal level. And again, friends, this isn't about me. It's about God and, and being obedient to the Spirit and, and sharing what He has, you know, commanded me to do and uh, and asked me to do. You know, I heard the voice of uh, the Spirit plainly uh, some 10, you know, a long time ago anyway. Uh, he, you know, this is what I was commanded to do, and I got to do it. Uh, and it's not, it's not about me, uh, you know, but the trials and tribulations I deal with, uh, I, I know we all go through that, right? We all go through those trials and tribulations. But as I keep preaching here, we got to press in and dig in, right? Because we know the devil is a liar. He is deceitful. And he is, uh, he wants us to be discouraged, right? Well, God is our encourager. So we're going to believe his report, friends. So on that note, <laughs> don't adjust your TV screens, my friends. I am here back on uh, our Restream TV Ministry Podcast Network, friends. Twitch TV, YouTube, uh, all kinds of channels here, friends. Good to be here. Good to see you again. Uh, now going on a little after 1 a.m. here, but, uh, you know, we started uh, we started a little bit later than I thought. I thought I was going to get on here much earlier yesterday afternoon, but it didn't happen. A uh, couple of quick updates on the other channels, a uh, couple of posts. And uh, so, yeah, uh, friends, thank you guys again. You know, my routine up here don't change. Uh, <laughs> I got to got to go ahead and close out, friends. And again, I do appreciate each and every one of you. Keep subscribing on the YouTube channel. I see we got uh, some more uh, friends there uh, signed up on the YouTube channel. Subscribe there. So thank you guys again for that. Uh, and again, on Twitch TV, I see the you know the followings jumping on here. Thank you guys again. I know it's been a while, uh, but I had to take care of some things. And plus, you know, the... The rogue flies again, friends. What a mess that was. But, uh, you know, I got to broadcast when I can. The other ministers, uh, you know, got the we've got the studio set up. Uh, so, they'll, you know, until we get the, the foam pads or whatever, you know, the studio completely secured uh, and covered up. Uh, we got some band equipment in there. So you guys might hear some construction. You might hear some. Uh, jamming going on for Jesus, you know, jamming for Jesus uh, as, uh, again, uh, trying to get the rooms and the studio stuff caught up as best we can anyway. So, uh, all right, friends, let's close out our channels. Let's go ahead and close out our friends at Blog Talk Radio. My brothers and sisters, good to see you. Pastor Rick here uh, hanging out now, uh, Tuesday, October 5th. Uh, see you on the next broadcast, friends. You know, definitely ain't gonna be as long uh, in between stuff, but um, I'll see you when I can, right? I'll see you when I see you, friends. Amen. Block Talk Radio. Check you out on the next broadcast Bible study. Uh, good to see you guys. Uh, hang on, restream. Hang on, Spreaker. Let's close out our friends over at Block Talk Radio. Uh, see you soon. And uh, thanks again, friends. Good to see you guys. Good to be here. All right, hold on, friends. <laughs> Uh, ba 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 da ba 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 ba. Got to do that thing. All right, there it is. There it is. That last. Uh, well, they. You know, I told you they got the little. Uh, I don't know what it called. The little. The little uh, questionnaire thing on the end that you 
go in and ask, you know, how they do and what they, what they're, I'm like, yeah, you're doing okay. Keep it up. That's awesome. All right. Uh, so, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and close out a restream here. You see you guys on the next broadcast. Take care, would you? And I'll see you soon, friends. Good to see you. Pastor Rick here, Studio A, uh, for Tuesday morning. Get some sleep, brothers and sisters, and I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you guys on the very next broadcast. Take care. I appreciate you. And I'll see you soon, uh, friends. Let's close out. Restream TV. Spreaker, hold that thought. I'll see you soon. Amen. All right, Spreaker, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Got to do the poll here. Amen. All right, it is preparing the recordings. That's awesome. Amen. Processing the recordings uh, here. Um, all right, so let's uh, let it roll through its system here. It's it's doing something, and then I'll go ahead and close out here, friends, brothers, and sisters. That's it. See you soon, friends. Amen. And hold on, Spreaker. Amen. See you soon, friends. All right. And there it is. Process through. Good to see you guys. All right, Spreaker. That's it for me. I appreciate you. Church, get on your feet and praise the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Uh, Watch that thunder when it comes in. All right, church, that's it for me. I'll see you guys on the next broadcast. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Amen, friends. Pastor Rick here, Studio 8.